Hey YouTube, Mick from Sydney, Australia. Sorry guys, I was in the middle of filming something and the phone rang and I had to use the iPad to check an email. So um, what I was filming was my uh, my full drive bug out bag, which is this bag here. Um, it's always in my truck and uh, always in the back there. Um, I also keep a sleeping bag in the back, um, a wool blanket, um, a thick jacket. Um, I keep at least two kilos of rice in the back of the car. I keep ten litres of water in the car and I keep a billy in the car. So um, then I also carry a EDC style bag uh, with essential components in there. But uh, I do carry this, this bug out bag just in case I had to hike it back to a town and you know, or had to camp out beside my car or something like that or, you know, whatever. So that's a bag. I actually did empty a lot of the, con the um, contents out before, but I got disturbed on the phone. So anyway, I'll do it again. So in the bag I've got a my Dave Canterbury inspired fishing kit. Um, I've got a fold out saw. Fold out saw. I've got a cooking mess mess tin. I've got one bag of rice, two bags of rice, three, four bags of rice, muesli bars, cup of soups. So, four bags of rice, which means four days of food, a couple of two minute noodles, breakfast and lunch, some uh, cordage, a couple of more muesli bars, first aid kit, cotton wool, some covered in wax, a nice uh, chunk of duct tape, a uh, nice warm fleece jumper, uh, I've got my World War II gas mask bag used for uh, scouting or you know, finding tinder or whatnot. I've got my uh, cooking stove with six Jiffy fire starters in there, and I've worked out two Jiffy fire starters is plenty to boil a uh, a cup of water. Uh, I've got a little hygiene kit here. <laughs> Not much in there, but uh, shampoo, yeah, some stuff there. So that's what I put out before. Um, what else is in here? I've got this little bag here. Um, so I've got some wire. Use it for snares. Use it to uh, to fix things. A little bit more duct tape. Some other cordage. Some harder wire. Uh, a little bit more duct tape, a glow stick, some cable ties, a diamond sharpener, a couple more longer cable ties, a glue stick, um, some files, a uh, what do you call these? One of these wrenches that locks in, another glue stick, so that's in there, don't laugh 
my white socks, I know I'm wearing white socks. Go on the Michael Jackson look, eh? Um, a razor blade. I've got some more waterproof uh, pants in here. That's about it. There's not much in there, eh? So, clearly I need to um, add some more items in here. Um, uh, what I didn't show you is, I will be, uh, I will be putting in my, um, my Gerber LMF2 knife. I'll keep it in this bag. Um, as you know, I've shown a video, it did get damaged there from just simple batoning. Uh, but, you know, it's still a very usable knife, still a very tough knife. Hasn't affected the performance of it at all, but being me, once something kind of happens like that, I kind of get a little bit how you going with it, and uh, yeah, it can now be my backup knife um, for a bug out situation. So, so that's that. So, um, what I don't have, what I need to add is shelter. So I need a tarp, a couple of tarps in here, one ground sheet, one one cover sheet. Um, fire kit, I don't have a fire kit in here. Um, I used to, but I've taken a fire kit out and put it into another bag. But uh, again, remember guys, this is a bag that just stays in my four-wheel drive. Um, it probably will never ever be used, but it's for that situation where you know, I'm stuck somewhere and I need to bug out somewhere and, and just uh, hike it or, or do what I need to do to get out of that situation. Um, the bag itself isn't a great brand name, it's, I never know what it is. It's just a no name bag, but you know, it seems pretty tough, it, it's alright. Um, sorry, in this pocket here, got some undies. A spare pair of spare socks. That's it. So, uh, so look, I've got cooking, got food covered. I've got my knife covered. I've got some hygiene covered. I've got uh, cooking covered. I've got cordage covered. Um, all I need to do is add shelter, add a fire kit, and um, and yeah, and in the back of my car I do carry a sleeping bag, a very thick warm jacket in there. Uh, in the car I do have another two kilos of rice, plus ten liters of water. So again, I've got food and water covered in my car. With all this gear, I've got the cooking side covered and uh, you know another fleece jumper for for warmth. Um, if I had to leave the car and didn't want to carry this bag I've got a little scouting bag which I can take with me and uh, you know scout for uh, some wild edibles or you know if I couldn't find uh, tinder go and scout out and grab some tinder and put in that bag and, and come back to where my car is. But, um, yeah, I mean, generally, if I'm going out bush, I'm always taking my day hunting bag. Um, I'm taking something else with me that's going to uh, help me survive. But if uh, for some reason I just didn't bring that with me or I was going to the country for work or something and didn't bring my day day hunting bag or my bags where you know a lot of the fire kit stuff is in there then uh, yeah, this bag will do the job um, and again in my car I do have another kit in there with fire kits and you know a canteen and cup and all that kind of stuff so I mean I'm pretty well covered this is just a emergency bug out bag you know shit is the fan 
earthquake, I don't know, something happens and, you know, I just can't get out of that situation. The roads could be flooded. Um, I couldn't get home. At least I know that if, if, if I had no money on me, one of the main things, I need shelter. Well, my car can be the shelter. I can sleep in the car. Um, also, I do carry a tent in my car, but, uh, you know, what would I need? Oh, I need shelter, okay? I need to sl I'll sleep in the car. I need food. I've got probably a kilo of rice there, two kilos in my car, that's three kilos of rice. That'll friggin' feed me for over a week. Um, if not more. Uh, I've got herbs and spices in the cars also. Um, I've got 10 litres of water, so yeah, not a lot of water, but it's water. Um, and I'm sure I could find water and I'll just simply boil the water up and uh, and make do with that. And yeah, I don't have, and what I actually do need to add in here is a, is a, uh, a cup, which is on my bench at the moment. I'll stick that in, but you know, I've got this, which is perfect for boiling some water. So anyway, I'm going to repack this bag. Uh, I'm thinking of using this bag or the, or the 511 Rush 12 bag. Um, I don't know, this one's a lot bigger. I guess it's the same size when you think about cubic capacity, but uh, I mean, look, this bag is pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's got nice straps, it's got nice padding, it's got nice waist strap, nice sternum strap. Um, there's straps that's coming off everywhere here, but it's not a very good quality bag, I know that for a fact. Uh, it's got the molly everywhere, it's got a nice uh, two strap system here to strap something underneath there. So, yeah, guys, as like I said, it's just a cheapy little emergency bag. I keep it in my car. If my car gets broken into and this stuff gets stolen, then look. I would have a cry about it, but it's not going to set me back a lot of money. Probably the only most expensive thing in here is is that and that. You know, it's a hundred bucks, so I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry my head off about it, but I would be pissed off for a few days at least. Anyway, I need to add a few things. So again, just to cover that, I need to add shelter. So I need to add two tarps in there. Um, I need to add a water cup. I need to add my canteen, which I'll stick my Nalgene 32 ounce bottle in here. Um, I've got my knife. Um, I do keep an axe in my car, so there's no need to put an axe in this bag. Um, I don't know, what else? Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, give me your comments, let me know what I should add into this bag. Um, yeah, keen to know. Cheers.